pressed, a tiny hammer from inside the piano comes up to strike the strings. This causes the strings to vibrate and creates the sound. However, when the key is released, um, the dampers with the felt tips fall back into place, causing the vibrations of the strings to stop. When the pedal is pressed, all of the dampers rise, and then when the note is pressed and the pedal pressed at the same time, the sound is louder and also longer. This is an over overview of my grand piano, and I'll tell you how it works. The first major part is the action, which consists of these black and white keys, the tiny hammers that come up to strike the strings, and the dampers which stop the vibrations of the strings. The next part are, are the strings, which are very, some of them are very short and some of them are very long. The shortest ones have the more high pitched sounds and the longest have the lower pitched ones, sounds. Underneath, which is the next part, is the wooden soundboard. This really amplifies the sound that the strings make and Many people can hear the notes that the piano is played through the soundboard. The bronze colored piece underneath is the frame, which is where the strings are connected to, and it gives it a familiar shape. The case, which is this black wooden piece, um, really, uh, it just holds everything together. The pedals, which are the final piece, uh, there are three on every grand piano, and you push on them with your feet, which um, raises the action, allowing the notes to be heard for a longer period of time, and they're also louder. So that's basically how a grand piano works. Thank you for your time.